Welcome to our lesson on aseptic technique. In this lesson, we're going to learn how to grow bacteria in the different forms of culture media that we had in a previous lesson, growing them in a broth tube, on a slant tube, in a stab tube, and on a petri plate. We start, of course, by sterilizing our inoculating loop. So again, we hold the inoculating loop in our hand, kind of like we would a pencil. We stick it in the back to incinerator, hold it in for a full 10 seconds. You want the whole wire and the beginning part of the handle in the back to incinerator. Then we're ready to remove our bacterium. <coughs> Now this is a tube of E. coli, one of the bacteria you want to grow in today's lab. Remember we always pick the tubes up by the glass, never by the caps, so the tube doesn't fall out. We start by removing the cap with the little finger of the loop hand. We flame the tube for three seconds to prevent unwanted microbes from getting in. We remove a loop full of the bacteria. We flame the tube for three seconds. We put the cap back on and set it down. And now we have the E. coli on our inoculating loop. Now we're going to grow it in this tube of tryptocase soy broth. So this is our sterile medium that we want to grow our E. coli in. We we'll remove the cap of the sterile medium, flame it for three seconds, put in the E. coli, flame it for three seconds, put the cap back on, and now the only thing growing in this tube should be the E. coli. No outside contaminants, no contaminants got in our pure culture. Now, of course, remember there's still tens of thousands of bacteria clinging to the loop, so we end the procedure by re-sterilizing the loop, putting it in the back to incinerator for 10 seconds. We also want to grow our bacteria in a slant tube. So we start out the same way. We always sterilize the inoculating loop before we do anything. Put it all the way into the bacteria incinerator till the handle is just inside the glowing part. 10 seconds. Then we take our tube of bacteria. Now once again, this is a tube of E. coli. We remove the cap with the little finger of the loop hand, immediately flame the tube for three seconds, remove a loop full of the E. coli, flame the tube again, and put the cap back on. So now we have the E. coli on our inoculating loop. We're going to streak it on a slant tube, so <clears throat> once again we grab the cap in the little finger of the loop hand, and we unscrew it. This is a screw top tube. We flame the tube for three seconds. We're going to hold it so the auger is down flat and the loop is flat. We're going to start at the bottom of the streak and just do a little squiggle as we pull it out. Then we flame the lip of the tube for three seconds. We screw the cap back on, keeping the cap a little bit loose so that air exchange can occur. And, of course, we burn off any remaining bacteria on the back to incinerator by putting it in for 10 seconds. We also want to grow our bacteria in a stab tube. Once again, we start by sterilizing the loop, 10 seconds in the back to incinerator. Take the tube of bacteria you want to grow, our pure culture, in this case it's E. coli again. Remove the cap with the little finger. Flame the tube for three seconds. Remove a loop full of the E. coli. Flame the tube for three seconds. And replace the cap. Then pick up the stab tube. Remember, pick it up by the glass, not the cap. Remove the cap. Flame it for three seconds. And then we're going to stab the, uh, right down the center of the tube about half to three quarters of an inch like that. Flame for three seconds and replace the cap. 
In this case, we use a loop for the stab tube. Sometimes a straight wire is used instead of a loop. Of course, when we're all done, we need to re-sterilize the loop 10 seconds.